Tom Dormy, President of Product Management for Coulomb Technologies on the genesis of the business that wants to help build an infrastructure to charge any electric vehicle anywhere. Actually, the genesis of Coulomb came when our CEO, Richard, Richard Lowenthal, put down a deposit on a Tesla Roadster. Um, he was one of the early people to sign up for that. And while he was driving home, he started thinking about, well, this is great, but where am I going to plug this thing in and charge it? And from that, we started thinking about um, the entire, the complete challenge of how to supply uh, locations for charging for electric vehicles. Because unlike gas-powered vehicles, um, they take a while to charge. They charge in hours, not in minutes. So. What we need is a distributed system where you can get um, a place to plug in and charge your vehicle um, wherever you park it. So whether it's at home or at work, at the shopping mall, at the airport, at the golf range, wherever you're parking an electric vehicle, you need to be able to plug it in. So that's one of the first challenges. Another challenge is you need a sustainable business model. You need to be able to have the drivers pay for the electricity. So you need a solution to that. And then long term, you're going to need things like um, handling uh, things you don't like to talk about, but gasoline tax. Um, when we switch to electricity, who's going to pay for the road taxes. Um, then you have the issue of you have these public stations, um, you need safety um, uh, features built in these charging stations to prevent people from being um, injured. So you basically need access control. So if you think about all of those challenges, at the end of the day you find out that adding networking to the charging station solves all those issues. And that's really the genesis of Coulomb is to develop um, network charging stations uh, that will charge any vehicle uh, anywhere, everything from scooters to the biggest delivery vehicles, anything with wheels and a plug, we're going to charge it um, as, they, as those vehicles become available. To my knowledge right now, we're the only company supplying a fully operational network charger. We have about 150 stations worldwide right now. We have them throughout North America, we have them in Hawaii, we have a number of units in Europe, and um, you can view the status and determine whether, you, um, uh, whether they're available at any given time by going to my chargepoint.net and clicking on a Google map and it can tell you exactly which stations are available so you can know ahead of time whether stations are available to charge your car before you get there which is one of the critical issues. Once again we can do that because of the networking and we didn't we didn't learn all this ourselves we spent a lot of time talking to folks like Google who has had a very large fleet and all the lessons learned from them. Um, and in fact, a lot of the work we're doing um, now is with fleet owners, and in fact, we've added a lot of software features uh, to our portals, we call them, um, to support uh, the fleet management of electric vehicles. When you meet with fleet managers, uh, what are their top concerns right now when they're making decisions? There's a number of things. Um, in particular, we were, we've been working with the uh, county of uh, Sonoma County in Northern California, and they have a couple of issues. Um, one of the issues is quite a simple one. With an electric vehicle, uh, if someone checks out an electric vehicle at the beginning of the day, brings it back at the end of the day, and neglects to plug it in, then the person that picks it up the next day may have a car that has no range associated with it. So the first thing you want to know is if their cars are plugged in at night, and they want to know if they're charged by the morning. We can do that with the ChargePoint network because we can monitor whether their car is charged up. And in fact, what we can do is, what we do do, is um, we send an email message, say, at 8 o'clock at night to the fleet manager saying, this car hasn't been plugged in. And we can also send an email message to the person that checked it out because we know that as well through the software. Um, little things like that uh, make it, make it a, resolve a lot of the management issues. They're also from a, um, from a uh, fleet um, measurement point of view, a lot of fleet managers are judged by their reduction in greenhouse gases. That's, that's typically the case, certainly the case with Sonoma County. So because we have network charging stations, we can keep track of exactly how much electricity is used. Each charging station has a, has a utility grade electricity meter in it. We can, we can see how much electricity has been used and calculate how much greenhouse gas has been saved. And so in the case of uh, this particular uh, customer of ours, the fleet manager actually gets measured by how much greenhouse gas reduction in his fleet he achieves every year and electric vehicles let them do that and we report the information to him.